All right, some interesting news that we've been seeing with the War Within Alpha has actually been released in the past day. Uh, a post made by Squishy, Private Aura is returning in the War Within Alpha and now affects Mythic Plus. Private Auras, by and large, you probably didn't see them unless you were raiding at like a hardcore Mythic level. What they were is Blizzard's attempt to de-incentivize players from using weak auras that would assign out mechanics. Um, so if you think about things in the past, like Jailer Bombs, where you would you needed players in individual holes, and that was assigned out via a weak aura that told you which hole to jump in, Blizzard didn't like how that worked out. And then moving forward, they decided to cherry-pick very specific mechanics that they were going to gate behind private auras. And what private auras are is the weak auras aren't able to automatically detect like and assign out uh, specific players to do specific things. Now, there are still things that you're able to bypass with private auras, particularly if you're using macro functionality. Also, in addition to that, the private auras can kind of tell if you have a specific debuff on you, but it's not able to like do anything else beyond that. And private auras in general, they mostly did nothing. Um, there were a decent amount of mechanics that were private aura that didn't affect anything, but then there were some that were like very, very bad. And this typically comes down to the fact that Blizzard was private oring a mechanic that they already made too hard. And so then it was a mechanic that had to be solved by a weak aura almost regardless, but it but it was going to be solved in this really jank way. And that was, I want to say Smolderon bombs. There was some stuff on Fire Rack with the light and dark soaks and with the cages and um, Neltherium bombs. Those were probably the big ones that were like very, very negative due to private auras. And a lot of it come, came down to the fact that you still needed a weak aura for it. And I, I took this video from um, Liquid's World First Kill of Mythic uh, Echo of Neltherian. And so first and foremost, you see this list that they have right here. Let me actually back up. So first and foremost, you see this list that the players have right here. And whenever the bombs go out onto players, uh, you're going to have to basically spread these bombs into five different locations perfectly around the room. And then the rest of your raid is going to be in this small, small area. If you double stack the bombs, somebody's going to die. You're not living it. And that's kind of where the problem arises, where you're going to have to actually, basically this has to be assigned, but you only have seven seconds. As you see right here, the hearts are going to be going off after seven seconds. And so nobody's calling, I'm position one. I'm position two. It's just not happening. Like you're never going to be able to get this done in seven seconds. And so for mechanics like this, you're, there was still going to need to be a weak aura. You're going to have to read off of a list instead of the weak aura being able to tell you where to go. And there was a bunch of jank over uh, workarounds. There was also some stuff in Amir Drasil where players are were pressing macros and still using a weak aura basically by using in chat room functionality where after you press the macro then the weak aura would still assign you but it didn't interact with the mechanic at all so it was able to you know just still operate as a weak aura and it was still stupid and and so those were things that i, I think that dratnos had a pretty good tweet where in general um you know the range of the weak auras went from didn't really do anything to absolutely horrible mechanic made much much worse by a private aura. And uh, as you can see right here, the, the sh Shadowbound, Flamebound, Volcanic Heart all m were made significantly worse by a private aura. And for Blizzard, I think that they're what they're trying to do is, you know, obviously noble. Um, you know, they don't want you using assignment weak auras in raid and they don't want raid to be any harder. I would say that it's a bit too pronged where they just continue to make too hard of mechanics and then they're like, why are players using weak auras? And there was like the surprise Pikachu meme and it's just like, well, dude, yeah, of course they're going to be using weak auras. Um, obviously, this is stupid. I think that Blizzard uh, should be looking at the, the mechanic design process as opposed to blanket putting private auras on all of these mechanics that they think could be problematic because then whenever they put a private aura on a mechanic that is too hard and is not a very good mechanic in general, uh, then it becomes like a major problem in like the Shadowbound and Flamebound and the Volcanic Hearts. It's like you're doing this intermission on Fire Rack. It still has to be assigned. If the intermission was designed in a different way or if the Volcanic Hearts were designed in a different way, then it would be easily YOLOable. So for the Volcanic Hearts, like if we just take a step back, if these are half the size that they are, this is an easily yellowable mechanic. And the private order doesn't matter. Or if it's a third of the size even, the, me the, the mechanic like doesn't need a weak aura. 
With the Shadowbound and the Flamebound, that's the phase during the intermission where you have to soak the orbs and you have to have people set up. If you don't pre-mark those peoples with Shadowbound or Flamebound, then you're able to have all 20 people in preset locations, and then you no longer have to have a weak aura that's moving people every single time. And so if Blizzard made changes to the like how the mechanic worked and designed a better mechanic and then didn't put a private aura on top of it, it's going to not it's going to be YOLO'd as opposed to assigned out via a weak aura anyways. And so that's like the major difference here. Anyways, I think they're really bad in raid. I think that Blizzard continues to use them poorly in raid, and most of the time, you know, they don't do anything. Um, but then there's some th times where they are used in raid, and they're very bad. And I think that Blizzard has to get, if they're going to continue to use private ores, they have to get better about using private ores. Let's talk about them for Mythic Plus because that's probably my biggest area of expertise here, and and uh, the biggest authority on the subject. These aren't going to matter for Mythic Plus. Um, in general you're not using assignment style weak auras and very few things in mythic plus in general are you know similar to these naltharian bombs that you need a weak aura to be able to solve something that you can't already use now if there was something that a weak aura was already solving for mythic plus i would i would make a very very strong argument that that mechanic first and foremost is too hard and it's too hard for the average player too. Where if if all players, including high end players, needed a weak aura to solve it, that mechanic is probably already very very hard. Um, and you can kind of see, you know, there's some videos. Uh, Dratnos, Dratnos has some YouTube videos talking about like the mechanics in the dungeons, and we can see some of the or uh, some of the abilities that are already going to be done with a private aura. And like this rolling acid is one of them. This rolling acid has a telegraph as to which direction that it's going to be going. I think that Blizzard doesn't want you to be able to know that the rolling acid is you like drop the rolling acid on the left. I think they want to make this be able to telegraph. You know, I think it makes sense. I think it should telegraph better. I think that this telegraphs really poorly. Um, and, and so that's maybe a larger uh, distinction to be made is like this this ability does not telegraph very well. And so if you were using a weak aura, it would be maybe just supplemental. But you don't need a weak aura to be able to tell where this rolling acid is going. And in general, that works for how most mechanics in Mythic Plus work. Another one is this dark orb, which you're going to be able to see on screen here in just a couple of seconds. And this dark orb is... I mean, it, it, there's, a, the, there's an arrow that goes on a player... You can see that the Dark Orb is being cast onto you. There's even the Blizzard default text on screen that says, oh, the boss is casting Dark Orb. You see where it's about to go, and then you see it telegraph towards the player. This is not something that needs to necessarily be private ord. And in Mythic Plus in general, I think that if Blizzard was trying to private aura a bunch of abilities, I think that those abilities either don't telegraph well enough, and it made the mechanic actually harder. I think that those abilities either don't telegraph well enough, or Blizzard just like missed the mark with what's actually relevant. They don't really need to do this for five-man content. Uh, five-man content is already low enough player count to where anything that needs to be assigned is typically going to be assigned either via voice or it's going to be assigned you know, via text. And the range at which players play Mythic Plus at is so wide that our, I would argue that if a mechanic did need to be private aura or you needed a weak aura for a specific mechanic, it's probably already too problematic. And we're already seeing weak auras in Mythic Plus be... I would say a bit too strong, but they're too strong because Blizzard's telegraphing on a trash and boss abilities is very, very bad. So probably the most important weak aura that you can actually download for Mythic Plus is the spell CDs on nameplates. Um... There are a lot, and I, and I mean a lot, of mechanics that are very difficult to tell like when it's going to happen. And by having spell cooldowns on nameplates, you're able to tell when things such as, you know, I'm thinking like Bounding Leap from the Juggernauts and Ataldazar. I'm thinking the same thing from the Berserkers and Everbloom. And having like, you know, be able to be, uh, being able to tell like what the cooldown on that ability is and being able to dodge something that's largely bullshit like, let's be very frank here. That's a bullshit mechanic. Being able to tell what the cooldown of that is 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 a very good. Um, private auras aren't solving this, right? Blizzard needs to make sure that their, their trash abilities are telegraphing better. And for private auras in general, these are largely on boss fight mechanics. And they're not going to do anything because in the five-man group, private ordering an ability 
is like stupid and, and, and in general it should just telegraph better and that's why you know you see very elaborate dungeon weak aura packs and that's why you see like boss mods actually be almost required to do dungeons is because the telegraphing on some boss mechanics or some trash mechanics is just really really poor and so that's why those things are like almost necessary but it's not necessary in the sense of what private aura is aimed to do is to solve assignment style stuff and i think that that's really stupid and so that that it's not going to affect mythic plus basically at all um for raid, I think that private auras need to be used as infrequently as possible and only used in the times where they would actually uh, be genius, saved us from solving a mechanic with a weak aura, which we've yet to see. There's none of them, actually zero. Uh, and, and I understand that Blizzard, you know, maybe rending charge from the Lizard Council was that, where you couldn't tell like who was going to get charged in what order. Maybe that was that. But in general, it didn't really do anything. There was no difference. Players don't want to download a bunch of garbage weak auras anyways that are self that are signing stuff. They would rather YOLO the mechanics anyways. And so just making mechanics telegraph better is the obvious solution here. Anyhow, I think that this is dumb. I don't think this is changing any, changes anything for Mythic Plus. I think that they should be looking at how they're using uh, private auras for raid and be as, you know, they use them infrequently as they reasonably can. Um, don't use them that often because they're really, really not good. Just be more conservative with the usage of them altogether. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. Those are my thoughts today. Um, I hope to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.